Today we are going to be kayaking in a canyon of glowworms. This evening we are joining a kayak tour with Why Marino. Why Marino? It's Why Marino kayak tours based at the Why Marino Adventure Park. So that's a kayak slides. That exists. I love it. This evening we're doing a glow warm kayak tours, but before that, because we arrived a little bit earlier, we get the time to enjoy all that there is to do at this adventure park. And first up, we are doing some rock climbing. She went off course for a very minute second, but we, we got her up, we motivated her, and she, she's back on track. After Laura tries her hand at making it all the way to the top, it's my turn. It's really cool because in the middle of this rock climbing wall, there is a massive kayak that you have to pass over <laughs> in order to make it all the way to the top. But enough fun, it's already time for us to hop in the van. We are making our way back toward the McLaren Falls Park. If you guys remember, check out our episode yesterday when we visited the park. And we are going to be spending the evening there checking out the glowworms of the area in a kayak. Our kayaking guides, Tom and Calvin, are preparing a lakeside picnic with impressive speed. And the more food they're putting on the table, the more the ducks are gathering around. This is more than just your standard lakeside picnic. This is a full-on gourmet picnic with cheese, crackers, salami, nuts, dried kiwi fruit, chips, dip, and even wine. No wonder the ducks are so excited that the Y Marino guys are here. And this is an awesome way to start a tour. I wish all tours in New Zealand started like this. It's a super relaxing way to watch the sunset going over Lake McLaren and all the beautiful reflections of the Hobbiton-esque like landscape and even a few autumn colored trees around there as well. Once we've eaten up our picnic, it's time for our guides to introduce us to our awesome kayaking gear we're gonna be using this evening. Tom is taking the time to tell us everything we need to know about the gears that they're giving us. So he's showing us how to put on the splash jacket, how to put on the skirt, and he's even giving us a quick refresher on how to use the paddle. Not like it's going to be a strenuous paddle on this very placid lake. For this tour, we're going to be on double kayak, so Laura and I are going to be having to work as a team on this lake. But that basically means that I'm going to be kayaking whilst Laura is going to be doing all the pictures taking. I think I got the short straw right here. It's a very slow paced tour and we take the time to see everything that there is to see around this lake from all this inhabitant to all the beautiful landscape. It's actually really cool. As the sun is going down, the reflection on the lake is getting even stronger. It's absolutely amazing how a few minutes makes an absolute difference in our pictures. Around the end of the evening, we actually feel like we're gliding over a mirror lake. We're having a really fun group with us today. We are actually seven people on this tour and two guides. That's one in the front and one in the back for safety. And we actually get a lot of time to play with each other, which is quite cool. I'm actually racing a few people. There is a couple more from India, which have brought their kids and they are the ones that want to race us. We also take the time to talk about the different experiences that we had through New Zealand. It's a really peaceful way to make our way across the lake toward those absolutely amazing glowworms. It's quite impressive how quickly the sun goes down in the middle of this lake. But luckily, we are actually making our way toward the glow on quite slowly, so our eyes have a lot of time to acclimate to the darkness. The guys at Y Marino Kayak Tours have attached a little red light to every single one of the kayaks, just to make sure that we don't kayak too far off course. But we are following our guides. There's Tom at the front, Calvin at the back, and they are guiding us toward the canyon where the glowworms are gonna be. Toward the end of the lake though, there's a little bit of a power station. So the guides are linking all the kayaks together and guiding us through safely past the power station. Our guides also tell us more about the glowworms we're gonna be seeing tonight. And also they lead a pretty hard life, those glowworms. They tell us about the life cycle, how a glowworm, once it's born, has to compete with its brothers and sisters, basically by eating them. And then once it is a larvae, it dangles these sticky strings, which it attracts flies to using a bioluminescence on its body. Then once the larvae becomes an adult fly, it is only alive for two days because it doesn't have a mouth and it cannot eat. So the only thing it has to do is mate until it dies. 
Speaking of those glowworms, after about 30 minutes kayaking across the lake, we are finally arrive at the amazing array of glowworms down a narrow canyon. And we have this awesome display of blue shining lights above us. We couldn't really film it for you guys because we're not that skilled, but we did take a few pictures to show you what that's like. And it's absolutely amazing. Being able to slowly glide under this sea of glowworms was absolutely amazing. It was definitely worth the drive to Toranga, the drive from the Waymarino Bays toward the lake and the kayaking time, which is about 30 minutes. It's so cool. We are leaving the tour with the head filled with cannibalist shiny maggot. It was amazing. I feel that New Zealand likes a few night activities and are definitely one of the ones that we recommend to anyone traveling in the country. Look at the ball here. Cool. <laughs>